Uh, great new development in TurboCAD 18 is the ability to bring in PDFs, which uh, up to version 18 you had to buy a, a different program. So it, this is this is a, a good tool, and it's quite straightforward. So if we go to Tools, uh, oops, sorry, go to Tools, Underlay Manager, click on Underlay Manager, and and there it is. There's your underlay manager. There's none in there at the moment, so I go new, file. I go to browse and I'll find the file, and I'll click. Well, I've already loaded three of them in here: two vector ones, uh, one raster one. So I choose the vector one, choose that one there, and say open. Uh, there it is, and I'll and I've got to give it a name, so I'll call it no, I'll call it name uh, name twelve. What's all that about? Name one. And I'll say OK. If I want to bring more in, I can bring as many as I like. I just go to New again, and this time I'll click in the. Uh, I can't remember which one I brought in the first time now. I'll click in that one and say Open, and I'll call that Name Two. OK. Uh, if I select either of them, it tells me the status. They're loaded, so everything's fine. Uh, click on OK. So now they're loaded into the drawing. Now I want to insert them into my into my drawing. So I'll go to Insert, Underlay. Ask me which one I want. I, don't, I can't remember which one was which now. I'll say Num Two and go OK. And then I'll click from bottom left to top right, and I can snap to the grid if I wish to. And there you go. There it is. Now, what do we do with it now? Obviously, it's a, it's a PDF, so it's one one thing. So if I click onto it, you can see it's it's one thing. Um, if I want to resize it, um, what I need to do is to choose um, choose a dimension that I know. So if I said, for example, if I draw this dimension, if I click here and there. Um, what it tells me here is that that is 23.65 millimeters. Now, if I know for a fact, let's just say that that thing is actually 25 millimeters, then what I'll do is I'll select it, and it's the X uh, X size. Now. Although it says 23.65, down here in the X size it says 51. It's because he's measuring the whole thing. It's measuring the uh, the measurement outside of the box, okay, rather than the inside. So what I need to do first of all is I need to go to Properties and Format, and I need to go False Text Inside Extension Lines. Right. Now you can see it's 23.65, and down the bottom here it says it's 23.65. So I'm going to change it. I'm going to say, no, actually, I know it's uh, 50. Um, so when I uh, type in 50, see down the bottom here in the scale X, it's 2.11. Well, that's, that's about right now, more or less double the size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that. I'm going to do Control C for copy. Then I'm going to select the picture. I'm going to put my finger on Shift. I'm going to select the size, uh, the dimension rather. And down in the X, I'm going to paste in that copy, that scale. And then I'm going to hit Return, and that changes the scale. So now I should be able to take uh, measurements off this, and they'll be right. Um, now, of course, I, I didn't snap to anything, so they're not going to be 100% accurate. But anyway, they're going to be close enough, and you can change that again later on. But the whole thing is one picture, so I need to explode it. Now, in all the versions up to 18, explode was under format. Uh, explode is not under format anymore. Explode is now under modify, which yeah, is sort of makes sense. So then I click to explode. So if I explode it once, and then I click onto something in the inside, you can see that that is still exploded. So what you have is 
um, when you explode things you explode groups so but sometimes there are groups within groups and so what you may need to do is select select the whole thing uh, and I don't need to do that I, oh yeah I could do that way I could select the whole thing and a modifier and I could explode several times um, and then you should get to the stage where everything is separate well it's still not separate so I need to, to explode that again but that's just a matter of uh, it depends how the whole thing was drawn in the first place there you go that's exploded so it's I can there's a line now and that line I can snap to whatever I want to and um, I think that's um, as a straightforward as that really the you'll notice that the text has disappeared and the text may or may not disappear depending upon how the person uh, um, saved the PDF so when a PDF is created um, you, you get the choice to whether you want to embed the fonts uh, with the text if you do to if you choose to do this then the text is simply saved as a vector data therefore when you explode a PDF and they're not embedded uh, chances are they might either they'll either disappear or they'll just be as lines if the person has, has embedded uh, if the person who has saved the drawing as a PDF has embedded the text um, then when you explode the PDF uh, the text still remains as text so that depends upon um, who sent it to you really what they've done in the first place okay that's it I'm off